Hi, I'm Dr. Denis, Associate Professor in Small Animal Internal Medicine. This video was designed to guide you through the interpretation of T Man's angiogram. Let's take a look at it. If needed, pause this video to help you interpret the images. We will first review this video frame by frame to understand the order of events happening inside of the heart. Later, this video will play in loop in slow motion. In this image, the fluoroscope is positioned to generate a lateral lateral image of the chest. We can identify the sternum, thoracic ribs from T2 to T9, and part of the thoracic spinal column. A catheter is inserted into the left jugular vein with the tip positioned at the apex of the right ventricle. A measuring catheter is also inserted into the esophagus with markers that are one centimeter apart to guide the cardiologist during the procedure. The red area shows where the heart is located. The pulmonary trunk is located in this area in purple. Next, the cardiologist injects contrast into the right ventricle, present here in black. We can identify an area inside of the right ventricle that is not filled with contrast. This happened because of an irregular hypertrophy on the right ventricle in that specific region. The contrast is quickly pumped into the pulmonary trunk, which is dilated. Contrast can still be visualized inside of the right ventricle. Now, we see the contrast returning from the lungs through the pulmonary veins back to the left atrium and left ventricle. We can see the delimitation of the aorta where part of the contrast is being pumped to. However, a large part of the contrast is also shunted back to the right ventricle through a ventricular septal defect and ends up again inside of the pulmonary trunk. As the contrast continues to circulate between the heart and the lungs, it gets diluted out with new blood entering the right atrium, so the black contrast fades away. This clip will now repeat in slow motion without annotations. This angiogram confirms the presence of a ventricular septal defect. We can see that a large portion of the contrast is shunted back to the right ventricle. This causes overcirculation of blood within arteries and veins in the lungs. We can clearly see the dilation of the pulmonary trunk because of the overcirculation effect. As you can see, the heart became an ineffective pump with so much blood shunting from the left side back to the right side of the heart. This concludes our review of Team Man's angiogram. Thank you for watching and see you next time.